morning, News Radio 1380 AM, country, and a little bit more. Uh, I am your radio man, 2022. It's five minutes past six o'clock hour. I have a few things that I'll share with you this morning. Once again, I'd like to remind everybody that the Community Health Expo, brought to you in part by Healthy La Paz, will be taking place this Saturday. That is the second from 9 to 12 at Western Park. Uh, free I imagine it's on how real radio should be done. That's right. I'm making a home movie. Of how real radio should yep. be done. With yeah. an actual home movie camera. Yeah, I mean, it, that's a throwback to like, uh, I would think the 80s. Oh yeah. Or 80s, early 90s. Oh, it's tipping. Now you better hurry. It's going up. It was going up to the space. Did you see that? It was getting the ceiling. It was shooting the ceiling. It was slowly just going up. It's like doing its own little pan. Yeah. yeah. No, a pan would be left uh, to right. It'd be a tilt. Yeah. A tilt. Yeah. It it's recording direct to VHS tape. To a VHS tape. Yeah. Well, you are old school, aren't you? I got that at a thrift store. That's a pan, a Panasonic. Yep. I mean, that's that's hardcore. I mean, that's you are you are an old soul, aren't you? Oh yeah. Man. I miss the days, you know, when my parents used to take all the home movies and stuff, and then, you know, we, we, we get those out every once in a while and we watch them. Really? You know, I, so, I mean, I, I'll imagine the thrift store that you went to probably uh, would probably thought, wow, i got a buyer for this. Yeah, I, they, they had marked it down, like, because no one was buying well, it. Well, I would think so. I would think it, it, you're looking for a very, very small uh, market, I mean, niche, I mean... Your consumer is probably pretty small. I like old stuff too. You know, I mean, I got an old calculator that I, I first got back in the 80s, a little pocket one, and I, you know, it, battery's dead, but I still can't throw it away. You know, it's like, man, this was the bomb, this little calculator. Yeah. So, anyway, so he's doing a little filming. You can send it to your parents, and then they can see you in action. Yeah, mm hmm. You know, see 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 what it's all about we don't have a camera in here we used to have a camera over there that camera used to be mounted up there and then we had one mounted on that but it used to be up there in that corner and be to the right your left on the radio dial in the corner up there but you know people just tune in and they, they, they could they could make comments while they were watching and they'd make comments and it was good you know it, and you know I'm a, I'm a professional radio man so I didn't get caught up in every comment but, but, you know, other people tend to get caught up in all the comments, and all they're doing is just radio for those people. And it was all right, you know, because being a purist in radio, I don't need a camera in here. But when they started now, uh, they, what happened was is they decided that they needed a piece of the show. They needed some of the, they needed a cut, you know, and so... I thought, that's not going to happen. We're not going to give you a piece of the pie. I mean, we're done. We'll disconnect the camera. So we did. And it wasn't even reasonable. You know, again, it, it, you know, if they would have started with something like reasonable, uh, I, I probably would have went to upper management and said, all right, well, we have a few that like it. Uh, that, that'd that be fair enough. But just weighed out how many people are actually watching to what we're doing and it, it didn't add up to their monies. So, you have two perfectly good cameras, two perfectly good cameras that do nothing. And we upgraded to better ones, when we, the, the ones we first started, and they do nothing. Someday, somewhere, maybe somebody will come along. They're probably obsolete now. It'll be like that calculator. Someone will just have it in a drawer to look at every once in a while. Yeah, or, or someday when I'm long gone and someone else is doing this radio, they might go, hey, what's these cameras for? Maybe we'll to plug them back in and, and, and do some camera stuff. You know, maybe that's what they'll do. Who knows? But right now, it's just radio. Radio that it's never changed forever. A lot of basics, other than people do say to me, Oh man, you're like, still have CDs. Because I had those young kids in here, you weren't here, from the school, and they're like, CDs? 
Because they're all digital kids, you know, they all got their own. See, I, I grew up, well, I was like the last of the kids who grew up with cassette tapes. I had a cassette tape player, yeah. you know. That was that was great. It was the Fisher Price or whatever yeah. cassette tape player, and it had a little microphone on it. You could, like, yeah. record stuff. Yeah. Like those up there. It was, yeah, this was, like, for kids. It was, like, you know, bigger Look than at, that. Yeah. 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 Wow. All right, musically, I gave you some real haggard. Uh, Darren Kolaski covering Running Kind. I think he covers that, that, you know, I mean, I like Radney Foster's cover of it, but I think I like Darren's a little bit better. You know, I like the way he covered the hay. And then, you know, Jerry Adams, and if you listen to that song, that's just brilliant. I mean, the whole song is about Haggard's state of mind, but if you listen to it, the whole story is titles from Haggard's history of all the songs. It's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now I did that because I feel sorry for you winter visitors. I actually feel your pain because you have to beat feet and get out of Dodge. And tomorrow's the day for a lot of people because it's the first. It's the first. So you have to get. Them. Excuse me. You have to get out of Dodge. Two reasons I feel sorry for you. One A is you're going to have bad radio wherever you go to. You're going you're gonna to miss good radio, what we do here. And second is, you're going to have bad music. You're not going to have good music. So I feel sorry for you. I feel your pain. I know the gas prices are going to be one thing for you and another. But remember, it's for the war effort. And the war effort's for the kids. So remember that. So that way you can feel good about it. It's for Ukrainian kids. So that way you'll feel better, you'll feel better about it. But bad radio and bad music is a drag. So I feel, I feel sorry. That's why I gave you the hag there. Yeah, so, so maybe that will work out a little bit better. Because I know. Because when I go to North Dakota, I know, and, I, and I listen to 12, 1230 KDIX, I mean, they're so clogged with everything in the dog. You get one song, and then, and then a billion other things that farm features or whatever, blah, 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 everything else. One song, and then, uh, you know. And maybe you get, if you got two in the afternoon because they're lightening it up a little bit, you know, that'd be almost a miracle. So I know you're going to get bad radio. And, or you might just get some satellite station that rotates every maybe two hours. Now there is a solution. Now here, yeah, and this is it. One, you can tough it out and stay in the heat and have good radio and good music. Or B, go to KLPZ1380.com. KLPZ13. Now I know it sounds complicated, but it isn't. Just go to that. Or and if you have a smartphone, just go to the smart free app. Of KLPZ. It's a little microphone that says KLPZ. It's free. And you can have it either way. So that'd be the best thing. A little bit more, I went with the theme there. I don't know if you caught it. You know, Huey Lewis, sometimes bad is bad. Frank Carrillo, the Bandoleros. It's bad out there. And George Thorogood, bad to the bone. Maybe you can figure out what the theme kind of was going on there. A little Dwight Yoakam, Trent Thomas, and each time I did that, I don't know if you caught it, but I. I put an Ashton Shepherd song in there. George Strait and then Leon Womack and an Ashton Shepherd song. Setting that up was a little bit of help from Ashton Shepherd and Zach Williams. The reason I like Ashton Shepherd is I just like her writing style and her voice. She sounds country. She sounds country. She's a pretty young gal too. I, I, I think I don't think she could be much more than forty. I don't know. I'd be a good question. Maybe she's younger than that. I saw an interview once with her. She wrote her first song when she was five, she said. Five. And, 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 and uh, the name of the song was, If this, if I don't quit this smoking and drinking, it's going to kill me. And she was five. They asked her, well, where did you get an idea for something like that? She goes, oh, I'm a big Merle Haggard fan. Hence, we're back to Haggard again. See? See how this all worked? Yeah. See, that's how I do it. 
inspiration music came the way of Craig Campbell, John Anderson, and Nathan Stanley. Always start with that inspirational music because the good Lord's blessed us in so many ways. The fact that we get the opportunity to get together each and every day in this country we call America. That's right, we love to call America. And as you're rolling out of that rack on this last day of March of 2022, take a little time, say a prayer for our troops. You know, it's not voluntary military, as well as our family and militaries, uh, family and, and friends. And as well as living in the Chinese plague, they just announced this might be a way of life for us, which we've known for a year and a half. We give thanks for the everyday little things we have, you and I have, the things that we take for granted each and every day. Don't always go to God and ask for, oh, when it's hard times or we need emergency. Give thanks for the everyday little things. Get right with the man, my brothers and sisters, my fellow KLPZ listeners and Americans. Get right with the man so we can meet on the other side when this journey's done. Got a tickle in my throat again. It started again yesterday. It was gone. I know what causes it, but I'm an idiot. I keep, you know, doing it over and over all the time. It's carbonation. I look forward to a soda, and I think I got to get off it. I don't think they're putting enough aspartame in it. That's my problem. I think we need more. I think they've cut back on it because you're all those dangers of aspartame, you know. And since they've been cutting back, I think that's the problem. I need more aspartame. If someone knows where I can just get some and pour it in there, I'd probably be better. You call the bottling plant and see if yeah, like, I, you can I, get I, a thing. I, of I it. need a bulk canister of aspartame to put it in there, you know, since you've been cutting back. Go cool figure. Anyway, I'm your good morning guy. Winnebago James. Doing what we like to do, and that is spending this. What was it? Thursday morning, right here with you. Who's your buddy? Who's your pal? K L P Z. Guess who came back yesterday? The Grey Cap. Oh. The Grey came back. That's what I call him. The Grey. He's a weird looking cat, too. He's got these big jaws, I think, because he has to eat rocks and, you know, stuff and that. And he's just built these big old jaws on him, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> see his back. I've been holding out one can of moist cat food I've been holding out. Oh. To. So, with that, he was back yesterday. I gave him that. The reward. He's like, whoa, I'm not skipping any days anymore. This morning I went out there, guess who was there? I don't even think he left. He's thinking he's going to get another can. That didn't happen. He went back to the dry stuff. But there it was. The gray was back. Just when I thought all was lost, you know. A wild cat that's been hanging out in the tree roll for it. It was last summer. He looked bad. I didn't think he was going to make the summer. Eiffel Tower Day. Again, I think about Eiffel Tower about as much as I think of penguins. Clams on the half shell. Clams on the half shell. Clams. I like deep fried clams. Oh, yeah. I like mussels, but uh, clams on the half shell. I don't know. Yeah. I've had those before. I'll tell you how I had them. You know, I'll show you a picture. You, this is probably too much for you to handle, James. It might be too much for you to handle. I was in Seattle like 10 years ago, and being in Seattle, I do as Seattleans do. We went down to the wharf there where they throw the fish, and uh, we went and ate at the wharf. And I go big because I didn't know when I was going to be coming back. And I ordered this, I saw this couple, this other couple, they, they had this on their table and I'm staring at them, I'm eyeballing them to death, literally eyeballing them to death, and it's obvious that I was eyeballing them. And so they, and so they, he motioned me to come over. And I went over and he goes, you, you're looking at this? I said, yeah, I, I need to have whatever you're having, whatever that is. And so he told me what it was. It was a, it was a, 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 a couple that went, and he said, get the large, because you, you'll want to eat it all, you know? And so I went back and I told Mike, I said, Mike, do you like seafood? Because one eat them, Brian don't. He goes, yeah. I said, I'm ordering this. Oh, yeah. man. Look at you. They even give you a bib for it, man. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this thing was just massive. 
massive mouth. They, they just poured it out on the table. They come in oh. and put this. They come in and put this plastic cloth down, give you a bid, and this big tub, and they just poured it out. <laughs> Man, that was wow. Good. I, it's just, I wouldn't even know where to start with that. Oh, you know what? Ate everything except I think the only thing that was left was like one little round potato. You know, and maybe like one little. They got these little. Ear corns are real tiny. Yeah, no one knows what those are. You know, and that, you know. Other than that, man, ate it all. That's some serious eating. Serious eating. You got a couple celebrity birthdays, I James? Do. Uh, brought I to do. you apart by Big Belly Subs. I don't know what you're doing for lunch today, but I'll tell you what you should be doing. You should be heading over to Big Belly Subs. Over 30 wraps to choose from. Or, or sandwiches, hot or cold, whatever you like. Put all the condiments you want on there, or like me, you like a little spice, a little sweet, just a couple of jalapenos, and and a little bit of a little bit of pick of pickles, and then that's all you got. And you got the flavor of the meat, and just a hot and the sweet going on there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fresh baked bread as well. Get a friendship platter. Get some friends. Six six nine nine five nine five. Okay, starting out with Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Angus Young. Ooh, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. AC DC Angus Young. I should have played. Love so. those guys. Same here. Oh my gosh, I love them. Yeah, so do I. Rock love, and roll. Love. Here, I never really I didn't I wanted to make a trip to go see them, but um Keith, remember our weather guy from Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. He wanted to go and I said, Hey, I'll go to Phoenix and, and go with you and he died before we could go to a concert. Angus 71. Uh, 71. Uh, you're close. You're close because I'm going to put him at 69. Mm, 67. Oh, he's a little yeah. younger than we thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, what else do we have? All right, how about Christopher Walken? Ooh, love this guy as an actor. Oh, he's great. He's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, kooky. His accent's real weird. You can go on YouTube. Oh, people. yeah. And, and and all the people who imitate them, I mean, there's just, they're everywhere. Everybody who, who, who there's some guys who are really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, well, you know, I yeah, mean, yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, so I was thinking, you know, I mean, yep. um, uh, Christopher Watkins might be 75. There's a brand new movie out. Really? That's going to be at the theaters. I think it's at, I think it's at our theater. I'll have to look, we uh, should go. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it is. I'm going to have to, you're pretty darn close. Yeah. I'll say 72. 79. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. 45 seconds. Please. All right. But Shirley Jones. Oh, wow. Uh, Shirley Jones. Uh, uh, Partridge Family. Yes. Yep. 82. Uh, I, I love one time they said, well, but, but you're retired, and what is it like to be retired and everything? And then she said, I think she said something like, as long as I have a man in every court, then I want to go traveling. That's good. She said, or something like that. Something like that. It was a very clever little little. Um, yeah, she's 88. Ring that bell? Yeah, that's a guess, but, well, they're all guesses, but yeah, she had to be 88. That's it? That's it. Wow. That's it. Wow. We did them. All right. I didn't know there was that, just that, but there were All right, with that said, my friends, 610 Monday through Friday, I'm a good morning guy. I'm your good morning gal. Winnebago James. Please, please join us, because the bottom line is, once it's all said and done, without you, none of this would make any sense. Always taking us out of our morning show, Mr. Whalen. Jennings. We forgot to tell people tomorrow is our 22nd year anniversary here at the station. Oh yeah. Yep, step up your A game tomorrow with music. That's a multiple of 11 too. <laughs> right. 22 years. Man, I was just hoping to get through the first and second year. 